Hi everybody, you can catch up with me at home today, as you can see. What I thought I'd do is run you through a video of, uh, as the title suggests, of um, tying up my Xander rigs, my Predator rigs that I use. They're a little bit different um, to, I think, what I'm, the majority of Predator anglers use. But I've um, done various different th things through the years and I've settled on this particular method of tying up these rigs and they work really well for me uh, using circle hooks. So I thought I'd take the opportunity because I do ask, get asked very, fairly regularly on social media about these rigs. So I thought I'd show you now, uh, we're going to detail on the desk down here in a second, but uh, I'll show you exactly how I tie them up and, and why I use uh, the bits and pieces that I do in that I use uh, circle hooks, uh, I do favour them for predator fishing, not great fan of treble hooks. I have used them in the past, uh, but I do favour a single hook approach um, and I do find that hookups certainly with Xander fishing are uh, increased if you use circle hooks. But uh, as I say, we'll, uh, we'll have a look down at the desk now and we'll go through tying rigs up. So these are the bits and pieces I use to make my Xander and Pike traces, my predator traces. Now, um, if you don't know, um, you don't really need to use wire if you're fishing for Xander. Um, their teeth won't cut through fluorocarbon or mono or even braid. But where you catch Xander, you're likely to catch pike as well. So it's always a good idea to use wire if there's any chance of getting the pike, picking up your bait. Um, and because my traces double as pike and Xander traces, I always use trace wire. And I do like this stuff, soft strand, because I can actually knot this stuff. And I do use 10 pound, like the nice thinner stuff, because it's much more supple. Now what I'm going to do is take off just over a foot, maybe 14 inches, 40 centimetres, something like that of this. I want a reasonably long trace, but not too long. And to be reasonably long, because if a pike does pick this up and immediately wolf your bait down, obviously you need some of the trace still by his mouth, so he doesn't bite you off. Now, as you can see, I use Sakuma 440 circle hooks for my dead bait fishing. Everything from a size 1, 1 1.0 or a 2.0, depending on the bait size. We'll, we'll tie this up with a 2.0 hook today. So it'll be easier for you to see what's going on. Now, what I'd like to use to tie these on is a knotless knot, also known as a snail knot. So we go through from the front of the hook. I'm going to whip round here six times, six or seven times. I'm going to go back through the same way, so the trace is coming out at the front. There you go. That's all there is to it. We have a lovely aggressive hooking angle there. The soft strand you can knot. You can probably see that the knot is a little bit moving there. What I like to do sometimes is just put a dab of super glue on there. So a little dab of super glue. I haven't got giant hands, this is very, very small. <laughs> Pop super glue. Which you just put a little dab on that. Hold that down just for a few seconds, and what you'll find is that will snug that knot down lovely. There you go, it's gone already. And that will just keep your knot nice and snug. So next thing I do is on the other end, so I like an anti-tangle sleeve. Now these are bit fiddly sometimes to, to thread backwards. There we go. anti angle sleeve on there. And at this end I'll tie once again a figure of eight loop. Love my figure of eight loops. Can be a bit fiddly to tie. There we go. Snug that down. And that doesn't need any glue on it at all. Snip that 
off. I love the soft strand you can cut it with scissors as well. So there we go. We have a trace with a figure of eight loop at the end. Now this is the way that I do it. I'm sure there's other ways of fixing a swivel on, but I do like to fit a swivel onto the end. So I'll just drop that through there. And fix it on like that. Then it's simply a case of pulling that anti-tangle sleeve up there, pulling it over the eye of the swivel. Hopefully I can get this over here. These swivels are a little bit big. Just obviously be careful with the other end, not, not slipping down the trace and getting a hook into your finger. There we go. That. Straighten that up a bit. There we go. That is my finished Xander and Pike trace. There we go, nice and supple. Now this will fit onto my terminal tackle because what I have on the end of my running ledger rig that I use is one of these. They're a snap swivel. It's just that will be sitting on the end of my main line. It's just simply a case. Popping that through there. And we have our lovely Xander and Pike set up. So I hope that helps you with your Xander and Pike fishing, your predator fishing. Uh, but that's exactly how uh, I tie up my rigs and the rigs that I end up with and, and why I use them. So all there is left to do is say thank you very much for watching. Tight lines when you get out. I hope you found the video useful. Many thanks to the channel patrons and I'll see you all again very soon.